Hey everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently the 10th of July, 2012. Out here in the Western Pacific, today the tropics are remaining relatively quiet finally, although the southwest monsoon still kicking up plenty of rain showers across Indochina and even over towards the Philippines. Seeing that threat of flash flooding there, but also uh, the threat across northeastern China and then into the Korean Peninsula. There's a new low pressure area developing there that could be affecting Japan by the latter part of this week. And that is this guy right here just towards the western portions of the Korean Peninsula. You can kind of see it through this infrared satellite imagery. And right here you can see that low pressure area. You kind of have that warm front here towards the uh, east. Cold front starting to spin off of it off towards the west. This is what we call a baroclinic leaf. It has that kind of distinct S shape into it. Not very distinct on this particular picture, but it does uh, show up the development of a possible uh, westerly storm. Now what this is going to be doing... It's pushing off here towards the east, uh, affecting the Korean Peninsula. Could be actually bringing up to about uh, 50 millimeters into the next 12 hours, about 100 millimeters into the next 24 hours across uh, this region, and even some severe weather. We take a look at the Coamps High Resolution Model. Let's go into the next 24 hours. You see that deep low pressure spinning off here, running across the LOC. And pushes across the Koreas and then eventually into uh, the latter part of this week. This model doesn't go out very far, but Thursday and the Friday, I do expect this to really affect the western portions of Hanshu with some rainfall. Now, good news and the saving grace is that most of the time when you have systems running from that direction, the Japanese Alps often uh, stop them. Uh, for making it over towards Tokyo. So a one thing good there, but it does look like Seoul you're going to be experiencing some heavy rain showers with this. If we look at the upper levels, really does have a lot of jet support here. Combined with positive vorticity. Now this chart, I don't really show it off too much, but uh, the areas in red are indicating uh, enhanced upward vertical motion, and the areas in blue are actually indicating downward vertical motion. If we go back here, this is the reason why most of Japan actually see a fair weather day today. You have all that downward warm motion, which is really suppressing any cloud activity, and then you have that rainy front really just kind of spinning off of that, so right now the member on the satellite picture, that's what it kind of looked like, extending through here now, uh, that's expected to continue to push off there towards the east, so a plenty of upper level uh, favorable weather at least for the system to continue off, so we're going to continue to keep you watched on that, but I know a lot of people are watching the tropics, it does look like actually some uh, vor positive vorticity extending in many areas here, even out there towards Indochina. Uh, these areas are actually been seeing some very heavy rainfall. We actually did see some reports earlier today in the past 24 hours. Saw about 130 millimeters of rainfall right about in this area along the western portions of the Philippines. Really due to a weak low pressure area kind of spinning here. You can see it very faintly on this satellite imagery, but it is producing some heavy rainfall there. Bet that it continue to push off towards the west, though, with that easterly flow. So Vietnam, even though you are experiencing some of these afternoon thunderstorms here, here you can see blowing up. That actually will be enhanced as that continues to push off towards the west. But the rest of the tropics, so we do have an area here just towards the east of Palau. Don't expect too much from that. Lots of vertical wind shear pouring in from the north here due to that rainy season front. So that's really just going to kill that right off. And also we have some cloud cover right here, but I don't really expect too much from that. So all in all, the easterlies do have a lot of rain fall in them but really nothing too significant at this time let's look a little bit farther towards the west here into southeastern asia though and zoom in down just a little bit here and you can see that heavy rainfall over vietnam i was just talking about a second ago and then also across much of thailand down through the malaysian peninsula widespread rain showers and thunderstorm activity once again this is not organized just southwest monsoon enhanced by that daytime heating and then it looks very closely though we do have that very faint low pressure area kind of spinning there in the south china sea once again, don't expect anything too significant out of this, but some flooding, even a possibility of a landslide or two could be occurring across the western portions and the central portions of the Philippines here if that does continue to push moisture on shore. But let's pull back the picture one last time and just see how much rainfall has fallen in some areas here in the past seven days. Now, this imagery is going to be brought to you by NASA. It's kind of a rough estimate of what has been occurring out here, and it usually is fairly accurate. But look at this. In the past seven days... Some areas here in central and eastern China have seen upwards of about three to 400 millimeters of rainfall. This I'll do that rainy season front, so any more rain here could be rather dangerous. But also, let's look uh, farther off down towards the southwest. Southwest monsoon pushing all this moisture onshore across southeastern Asia. And also, 
India, you are just finally getting the southwest monsoon, finally getting a hold of your cooling off your temperatures. You remember about a month ago, temperatures were in the 40s across most of this area. Now at least starting to see them dive down into about the mid-30s. Philippines as well, you're seeing that heavy rainfall. And then you have all of the easterlies here. So widespread rain showers really go around across most of this area. But the one area that you see the big hole is southeastern China. This area right in here, high pressure has been dominating. Temperatures have been reflecting. Take a look at Shanghai with a high of 35 for you going into uh, basically throughout the day today on your Monday. This is similar temperatures expected on your Tuesday. Also seeing a little bit of cooler down farther off towards the north. That's that rainy season front from 26 to 26 across Korea. And then remember that temperature I was telling you about in uh, northern India. The southwest monsoon just hasn't made it quite here yet. 42 for your high. Expect it through the next 24 hours, but most of the tropics still remaining into the low 30s. Even out there towards Tokyo, expecting a high of about 27. Uh, going through the remainder of your day. So that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them in the comment box below. And also, just to remind you, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta, or follow the website on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather. Always do appreciate that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go check out the website. Plenty of information there. Not only these video casts, different articles from various authors, and also different sources that you can use uh, for forecasting the weather here in the Western Pacific if you wish to do so. So uh, stay safe out there, though, and have a great day. Bye.